So it's a matter of like expressing, getting the information, going to your doc, and then telling your doctor that right. this is what I'm interested in, and please call Carter yeah. <laughs> because he'll explain it to him and why it's so great, right? Well, I can give you some resources, yeah. and I can point you through some of the, the maze. mazes right. that you will, um, but you do have to be self-assertive as a, as a woman. You mm -hmm. have to read. Um, educate. Educate. If your doctor isn't open to this, uh, then you need to uh, work with him to open his eyes. Mm -hmm. Or find someone who's somewhat receptive. Yeah, yeah. We, we hate to see that. Yeah, if you have history with someone, it's really important. But again, I think it's also important as a healthcare professional to, you know, be open to the possibility that there might be some things you're not familiar with. Right. And if, you know, my belief is if you can't help someone, refer them to someone who can. Absolutely. So, you know, and that takes a little bit of ego aside. It does. Yeah. So, um, what are the options to hormone replacement therapy? Well, I think what you have to do is you have to look at your mother and your aunt okay. and your grandmother mm. to see how they got through this whole thing. That's very important because... Like when um, they started menopausal symptoms, you know, the symptoms. Right, symptoms. right. Okay. And what do they look like now? Um, did they, did their bones hold together? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know you're not going to discuss sex with your grandmother, but... Um, you know, some of the no, other mine things. mine would have been, oh, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so my nanny would have said, like, well, oh, Deborah. <laughs> well, they didn't do that at that time. Right. But um, you have to look at your genetics. Um, and sometimes you can do just nothing at all. And you, you will fi find that maybe you'll get through it. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you can do is exercise, lifestyle, nutrition, all of those types of things. Why is exercise so important, Carter? Oh, um, like just walking is helpful, correct? Well, oh yes. Okay. Well, stress number one. Yeah. You know. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> stress. Um, number two, you need load-bearing exercises to prevent osteoporosis. So, I mean, uh, I'm sorry to say, but swimming isn't going to do it for you. You've got to get on your bones and use and them. And move them and push That's them. That's right. So, um, you know, walking is wonderful. Um, jogging, you know, is a little stress on the joints. Uh, biking is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but all of these things, um, exercise, uh, the things that you eat. Um, sure. Also, you know, I, I can't tell you anything about uh, soy products. Oh, sure you can. And then the nu <laughs> nutritionals. Uh, that are out there and some of the herbs that are um, available. Yes, and they have estrogens in them. So um, we have to look at other societies and what they're doing. Gosh, don't you think it's important though, Carter, that people who decide to do herbals do organic herbals? Because again, we're looking at pesticides on, you know, on herbals. Well, right? absolutely. Um, and the soy should be the non-GMO, the non-genetically modified organisms. Oh, absolutely. Because of the Roundup. It, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we, we all have to be very conscious of where our herbs come up from, where our drugs come from. Right. Um, there's progesterone creams that you can buy without a prescription, and there's a wild yam cream. Well, unfortunately, wild yam is never converted to progesterone in your skin, so it's mm -hmm. not going to work. I'm sorry to disappoint anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're getting something out of it, that's the psychological boost. Well, God bless you. Well, isn't that interesting? I wasn't aware of that. Yes. Huh. Um, and also, the, some of the over-the-counter progesterone creams are uneven in their quality. Mm. Um, we make a progesterone cream that's very important for uh, PMS symptoms, mm -hmm. uh, fibroids, things like that. So, um, and I know that my quality is good. And I ensure it. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. Well, it's like anything. It's like you put, you know, you know, unleaded gas or leaded gas in your tank. It's like, right. you know, what's it going to do to your engine here? Right. So that makes sense. So tell me this. Why do you suggest natural hormone replacement therapy? Um, well, for so many reasons. Um, why have the woman fit to the treatment rather than have the treatment fit to the woman? I mean, obviously, you want to take the estrogens, estrogens that are natural to your body. Right. Uh, why would you put in something that's not normal? Uh, so many of the chemicals that are given out right now, 
to women, and I'm telling you they're chemicals, not really hormones because they are converted in the lab and they are not, they Natural have, compounds. that's right, they have to be converted in your body to your, your uh, hormones and then after that, maybe you'll use them. That's right. They don't lock up to the receptors properly, and there's all these metabolites that are toxic. holding, that are that are running around and can cause you problems. And now think of and this. What kind of problems? Well, think of this. You cannot take the um, synthetic progesterone called a progestin in pregnancy. However, I do a big business in progesterone supporting the endometrium. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Tell me why. Uh, well, because <laughs> the the synthetic progestin is not it causes birth defects. Oh, gotcha. So, so people need to be aware that there's a huge difference in the quality of products, and you need to go to a compounding pharmacist who has integrity, probably a good idea, uh -huh. versus something sold over the counter that right. is questionable as far as quality and and efficacy and assurance of safety. Right, and not. And fitting the treatment to the patient, not mm -hmm. fitting the patient to the treatment. Right. Uh, there are so many women accepting hormones uh, from their doctors. Now, there are a great deal of women that that's successful in. Right. And they're uh, very successful in treating vasomotor uh, problems, the hot sweat, you know, the mm -hmm. sweats, da-da-da. Uh, but when you start thinking long term and thinking of all the metabolites that are going to be in your body you ought to think about should I have my own estrogen in my body or should I have something that was made in the lab right right so what are the most important hormones to replace for women well estrogen obviously mm -hmm. progesterone is very strong actually progesterone is the oldest uh, um, hormone of any hormone that we have, it was it's present in all animals. It is. Yes, is not it necessarily true? a sex hormone um, in other animals. It's okay. good for glucose metabolism. Huh. But does pro progesterone convert to estrogen if needed in the liver? Oh, absolutely. I read that somewhere. Okay. Absolutely. Providing your liver is working well enough to do so. Right, right. There is a a very fine balance with hormones. And there's a cascade between all of them. They, they will metabolize between each other. So what we need to do, we really need to find out if there's an excess of one, mm -hmm. uh, a lack of another, or if everything else is just down. And that's why the saliva tests, again, are so important. So valuable. Right. So tell, we're running out of time. We have just okay. like five minutes left right. here. So What's the downside of hormone replacement therapy? Is there any? Um, yes, there is. And obviously, um, cancer is a problem. Um, I would say less so with natural hormones. Um, but more so, um, if, if you don't do anything, you have a problem uh, with heart attacks and uh, osteoporosis. I mean, you have to realize as a woman that you know, breast cancer isn't the biggest killer of women, mm -hmm. okay? It is heart disease, and right. so many women are not treated fully for heart disease. So estrogen is a helper to prevent heart disease osteoporosis. Which type of estrogen? Because there are three that you examine when you do a saliva test, right? Right, right. So which one we, is it? Estrone, we try to eliminate estrone. There is formulas that don't have any estrone at all. And a little one, a little bit of estrone does get metabolized uh, from the other estrogens. Okay. Uh, but estriol is the best one, and it can actually be breast protective. Okay. Um, estradiol is is probably the strongest one uh, for vasomotor problems, and estriol is um, in different forms, uh, like it is conversion commercially available. So you can get that through your doctor or you can see us and we can customize the doses. What about quality assurance if you get it through a doctor? Well, those are commercial products. Okay. And that's, so there's a standard of quality? Right. There is a very good standard of quality okay. and you can work with that in that framework if you would like to. Mm -hmm. um, and there are some good options. Now the, the pharmacy
pharmaceutical companies are getting a clue and there is natural progesterone by prescription. There's also um, 17B estradiol, okay. which is more or less a, a, a natural estrogen. Okay. So you can get that in a patch form. So you can work with that in that framework, but the caveat is that they don't have custom dosages. Right. So if you're doing saliva testing, you are going to have to really play with those commercial products. So that's the downside is that you really have to work with someone to adjust you be yourself because as you start loading up, you retest in three or four months and then you readjust the dosage again. Right, right. Um, we're almost out of time, so let's go th to this one. Do you feel, Carter, that the majority of women benefit from hormone replacement therapy during or after menopause, and if so, why? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, you have your menopause, which is your last period, mm -hmm. okay? For one to two to three years, you won't have any problems, but there's silent things happening to your body. There are heart attacks that are going to happen. There is osteoporosis that's going to happen, unless you're genetically, uh, uh, you don't have a problem with that. Um, all the other things, uh, the, your beauty, their, your uh, sexuality, mm -hmm. um, incontinence, and... Man, oh man, <laughs> how come us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just lucky. Oh. <laughs> You're just lucky. We get to bear the babies and go through menopause. Isn't it That's grand? Right. That's right. <laughs> but um, really, it's 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 a long-term commitment. Uh, commitment, and sure. you've got to think that: Do you want to do this or not? And well, you have to. Right. You really have to uh, educate yourself, right. find out the downsides, and then decide. Right. Well, that's a good answer. And you know what? If you have questions, I have lots and lots of brochures, tons of information on hormone replacement therapy, pros and cons, natural versus synthetic, et cetera. So you're welcome to give us a call over at Nutrition Consultants. We like to give information out. So feel free to give us a jingle. And beyond that, the other thing that you do that I love is that you do additionally, along with the saliva test for hormones, we do the saliva for female hormones, we do the saliva test in conjunction with that for adrenal hormone as well. Mm -hmm. The adrenal panel tests, just so you know, are tests that we do that address your DHEA, your pregnenolone, um, and your cortisol levels, which tend to go down also as we age and can also increase your lack of ability to handle stress well. So that can also be compounded into your formulas, correct? Right. Which is good to know about because everybody is under a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Right. It's interesting that, um, you know, tracking cortisol, uh, women's cortisol don't go down when you... Uh, too, ours goes up. Yeah. So thank you for being with us. I'm Deborah Arneson with Carter Black bringing you HealthQuest. And until next week, please take good care of your health. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about, bring a show on, give me a call, let me know. Good night. That was great.